So I don't know about you, but I pretty much have whiplash from this Diddy lawsuit. We talked about this the other day because, I mean, this literally just happened where Sean Diddy Combs is getting got sued in civil court, accused of R word, um, uh, um, trafficking, all kinds of stuff because of this uh, horrif horrific shit that um, Cassie, uh, a former artist and, and former girlfriend of his, uh, ac accused him of. It's really, really horrific stuff and stuff that kind of brought to light a lot of other unsavory things from his past that a lot of it I didn't know about. I mean, he's been, he has been, I wouldn't say accused of, but I think he's been suspected of <laughs> unaliving some people, frankly. Um, one of which being, oh, let me pull up, let me pull up this. I, like, I didn't even realize this. Kim Porter. I didn't know about this. Diddy's late ex Kim Porter was murdered while on the run, suggests her baby daddy. Apparently her death was, was ruled as pneumonia. But everyone else is like, Ugh, I'm pretty sure Diddy did it. I don't know about that. That's pretty sus. That's pretty sus. And that's not the only time that he's been uh, kind of accused or, or maybe not even accused, but like suspected of something like that. He's he's a gangster through and through in in not a fun urban slang way, but in a really like like scary making people disappear kind of way. And so a lot of the accusations she did. I mean, it's it's there's a lot of stuff that says that he's not great to women, but there was a lot of. A lot of uh, uh, stuff about, you know, her being kind of pressured to to engage in uh, uh, in, in like group sex. And he filmed it. Uh, a lot of physical violence against her personally. Um, some R word stuff, a, a, a pattern of abuse that spanned many, many years. So she was able to sue for this in civil court in New York because of uh, a new law that was existing that uh, basically meant that you could uh, you could uh, 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 sue people for something outside of the statute of limitation when it comes to sex crimes. So because of that, she was able to do it. And of course, it was a he said, she said, as these often are, or he was like, you know, she's just trying to shake me down for money. They want they wanted like I forget if he said like three hundred million dollars or something crazy like that. And then, or 30, 30 million, yeah. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Miss Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about the relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as a blatant as blatant blackmail despite withdrawing her uh, initial threat. Miss Ventura has now um, uh, resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with uh, baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. So that was his official response to all this stuff. And to which she responded, they actually did offer me uh, an eight figure settlement. And I said, no, and I'm doing this anyway. So now, unfortunately it went from a, he said, she said to now a very different kind of, he said, she said, cause now we, we're not going to, we don't know what the truth is. It definitely sounded like there was some video evidence, photo evidence that existed that, that she didn't necessarily have, but maybe something that could su be subpoenaed for from, from Diddy. And I'm sure there's a lot of people, um, that were able to cooperate some of the stuff because obviously, you know, he has a big crowd around him at all, uh, often. So it's it's very likely that people in his in his circle would have witnessed something like that and could possibly be um, pulled up to to discuss something like that. Even even um, Cassie talked about what was it? It was somebody's car blowing up. Yeah, Kid Cudi. It's like it's like Cassie even mentioned like the Kid Cudi thing that Ka that he was uh, he was jealous of of Kid Cudi and then threatened to to like blow up his car and then his car did blow up. And Kid Cudi responded and was like, yeah, that shit happened. That happened. Yeah, in February 2012, Mr. Combs told uh, Miss Ventura that he was going to blow up Kid Cudi's car. And then he wanted to ensure that Kid Cudi was home uh, with his friends when it happened. Uh, around that time, Kid Cudi's car exploded in his driveway. And those are uh, in, in court documents, which is mental. And then, yeah, through a spokesperson, Kid Cudi confirmed Ventura's account in the New York Times. This is all true. So that even that one, it's like, OK, this is this is crazy behavior. Someone who who not only thinks they can get away with anything, but can get away with anything. It's kind of crazy. So, again, none of this surprises me that if any of this was true. But like I was saying, we're, we're now in another he said, she said, because if you if you were like, well, he says it's about a payday. She says it's not about a payday. And, and it's, it's now is an opportune time because of how the, the law works in New York. Now that there's seemingly been what we can assume is a settlement, like they settled the lawsuit. It, like it's not dropped. It's settled. When, when it's civil, it's a settled money changed hands, which means probably one of two things. 
One, um, you could you could definitely look at this as she was looking for a payday and got the payday and great then dropped it. People will say that. Or two, she is a victim, did want to go forward, did come out with her story, and then is also, shocker, a human being. And if somebody backs up a money truck that's going to make you be able to be set for the rest of your life and it's going to make your kids rich and your kids' kids rich, then maybe you take the check. Especially now that the information is out there. You know what I mean? And this could create a waterfall effect of other people coming forward with accusations, which is ultimately a good thing. And, and, you know, it's, it's what, it's what happened with the Me Too movement. It's like a lot of people came forward and eventually you had Harvey uh, Weinstein go down. You know, it takes one person doing this, one person's bravery. And so, again, those are the two ways you can look at it. Yeah, she was clearly just in it for a payday because she probably got a payday and then dropped it immediately. Or, you know, she is a victim and then he was just like, all right, fine, here's $30 million. Go away. In addition to the fact that he has been suspected of unaliving people in the past and blowing up cars and stuff. And it's very, probably very, 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 very scary for her. So probably it's very complicated. We're ne probably never going to find out the actual answer now. But he paid her real quick. This was real quick. I don't, I don't know what he was expecting. Cause it's like, if he was willing to pay now, why wasn't he willing to pay before? Cause it's obvious that like, maybe it was like the, maybe it was like the kid Cuddy stuff coming out. Like there's just, and it was, it was, he was worried that more and more information was going to come out and that maybe this would send a message that a, if you want to accuse me, fine, I'll pay, but this is over now. Just joined. How much did, uh, um, did, did he pay? We don't know. I think it's going to stay private, but yeah, just, if you want to just, we can read through this a little bit to get some more information, but I think this is basically it. updated former bad boy recording artist. Cassie has settled a lawsuit filed against Sean Combs to accuse the music mogul of R word. The settlement came one day after singer Cassandra Ventura filed a lawsuit against Combs that allegedly that alleged the bad boy entertainment mogul, uh, R word and beat her over a period of a decade. So quote, I've decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. She said in a statement distributed Friday evening by her attorney. So she resolved this matter amicably. Amicably. Um, on terms that I have some level of control. I don't know what that means. Maybe didn't sign an NDA. That's possible. That, that's, a, that's probably a good way to look at it. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's probably likely that, that what it means is She's going to stop the lawsuit so that nobody can get subpoenaed, so that no phones can get uh, taken, so nobody can be uh, can be pulled up to testify about what he's doing, or what, ha what he has done, or what he continues to do. But she doesn't have to sign an NDA so she can keep talking about it. So that's probably that probably is the right way to read that level of control, is that she's not signing an NDA. She can probably still write a book about this and get some of that stuff out there, but it's he's trying to close the floodgates again, because this, this behavior happened over a decade. He's been around a very long time and he's had a lot of people in his inner circle. And I would not be surprised if there are, are many, many more stories similar to this worse than this more stuff like the kid Cuddy blowing up the car deal. There's probably a lot of information that could come forward for this. So yeah, it is damage control. Something that he probably could have done, you know, months ago instead of instead of now so i i don't know maybe he just maybe thought nobody would buy it i don't know why he didn't settle it before and it, it took it took it coming out for him to to write the check but if, if she is truly a victim and this information is out there and she was able to not sign an nda and still get that bag then all i have to say is good for her good for her you know the information's out there so that that's good. It's still it's still a problem for for Diddy, and it's still something that is gonna you know he's gonna have to address. Or I, I don't know if his fans are gonna care much, or what's gonna ultimately happen to him because he he owns so much of his own like properties. It's also a billionaire. Like I I, I don't think any this is really gonna affect him too much. It's just his reputation tarnished now. People people know it can probably be maybe a little bit more cautious around him. I don't know. But if honestly, if she, if she's if she took the bag, there's a good chance just because she is a human being and $30 million is $30 million. And I, I cannot blame anybody for taking that money. And it's especially the fact that it was, it, it came out. 
it's uh sounds like a win all around honestly it sounds like a pretty big win for her 